In this video, we'll explore the new Draw Barrel Vault tool introduced into mPanel Pro version 20A. This first of three videos explores the basic parameters of building a barrel vault using this new tool. With tool number one, we're defining the basic barrel with these main parameters. So here is uh, the model that was created using these parameters. We can see the number of bays is three. I've colored the meshes differently in order to identify the three different bays. The bay width is defined as 5000, that's millimeters. And here is the bay width. So that's the distance between the posts in the longitudinal direction. The a span is the distance from front to back, this being the front side, this being the back side. The rise is the height from tip to tip, if we draw a straight line from one end of the arch to the other end, uh, the rise is the distance to the middle of the arch. The front height is 2 meters, the back height is 2 meters or 2000 millimeters. And this is from ground to the end of the arch. This is not the post height. The post height is determined by the distance from the back edge to the post position offset and the front edge. Now in this instance, I also selected draw front pole, which is this pole here, identified as front pole. And again, the distance from the end to the pole is 500 millimeters. So to run the tool, we simply left click on the model builder, specify the insertion point, select everything and relax as a cable edge mesh. And there is the fully relaxed form. Notice these models, the front edge and the back edge are both catenary edges as in cable edges. If we were to fix the front edge, apply, we'll rebuild the model, select everything, relax again, and this time this edge is fixed and this edge is a cable edge. With the second option of Build Barrel Vault, we can apply some production offsets to the meshes to make it easier to convert these meshes to panels already for production without a lot of post production. So these new tools introduce substantial time saving. So here we've drawn a model using the main parameters we had before, but we've now also added production parameters. So firstly, to describe each of these, we've got an end arch KDAR offset of 50 millimeters. Here is the end arch we can see on the pole. And the KDAR edge or fixed edge, as shown in this example, is a typical uh, tensioning uh, fitting for an end arch. And the distance from the center line of the track to the center line of the KDAR is 50 millimeters. So the model is automatically adjusted for that 50 millimeter offset. And that applies at both ends, the end arches. We also have the same option for internal arch KDARs for these types of connections. And here, the 25 millimeters that we're specifying would be from the center line of the arch to the spline on each side of the center arch. A further offset or trim, here is the internal arch trim of 150 millimeters or six inches. And this is for tensioning devices, such as shown in this image. And here when we zoom in, we can see the mesh has been connected 150 millimeters 
up the original arch. There's also a trim end arch for cable. Now we'll just explain that in a second. We'll first turn this off. We'll run the model tool. Here we've got a copy of the original. We select everything and run the relaxation tool as before. And we can see the meshes are fully relaxed to these new positions. Delete old. Now, if we take a mesh, an end mesh from the original build barrel vault and color it green, and then put a copy of this onto this model, again in the same position on the center line of the end arch. We can see we have an issue with the angle of the cable, which is defined by the cable dip span ratio. There are other videos describing the dip span ratio, but fundamentally, this is the span. The dip is a percentage of the span. The deeper this dip span ratio is, then the more this angle will change as the cable departs from the center line of the end arch. And we can see that it's necessary for us to trim this new offset arch position to ensure that the cable passes through to the end arch. Here's an example of a cable terminating on the end arch. And we can see it's important that the cable passes through the fabric pocket smoothly. So we'll now redraw this same model with the cable dip span offset taken into account. Build the model, relax the model, delete old. And once again, we'll bring the green mesh. And we can see now the cable uh, while it's not identical, because obviously the center connection is different here, but we can see now the edge cable passes correctly through the fabric pocket to the end arch. The third option of the Barrel Vault Build tool is to apply production offsets to existing arches. In this example, we've got a series of arches, 15, which are arranged in a semicircle. Now the first thing we need to do to these arches is to convert them to 3D polylines. This new tool operates using 3D polylines. So we can convert these arcs into 3D polylines using the mPanel poly conversion tool. Select all of the arcs, left click the tool, Delete old. And now these are a series of 3D polylines shaped as arches. We go back to the draw barrel vault. We're using the same production parameters that we used in the previous example. So we simply select all of the arches, run the model builder tool, delete old. There are our meshes, and we can see the offset for the end arches of 50 millimeters. The mid arch, center arch offset of 150 millimeters for the tensioning device. As before, select everything and cable mesh relax. Delete old. And there is the finished model ready to go on to paneling and production. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact support at mpanel.com.